Good morning friends, we're at Target today and I literally parked in this big open parking spot so I could get good lighting for my intro. <laughs> it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm at Target. I need to go here. I need to get a bunch of girly things. I'm pretty much out of everything. I have like some things but I need some refills on some specifics that I get at Target. So today I figured I would take you with me. Hopefully they have everything I'm looking for and then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get ready and then we'll go through everything I got. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Join my YouTube fam jam. And let's go ahead and go into Target. Also it's 90 degrees today and my outfit is not... <sighs> it's not for this weather. Okay, wait, I haven't shopped at Target for clothing in a long time, but look at these sets with the cute top and the towel shorts. They also have it in this print, and I kind of want to get one. So cute. I'm dead. Hey guys, I still do my at-home laser, but I need to touch up areas, so I'm going to get these. I'm also gonna get this because I've never tried it, but I heard this is like the best shave cream ever. This is gonna be good for my touch-up spots. Okay, it's been forever since I've tried a wax strip, but I wanna try these. For $9.99, I'm gonna get them. But I kinda wanna try this brand just because I've never tried it before. I'm gonna grab some mouthwash. Okay guys, I just ran into this brand I've never seen before. It's called Mega Babe, and they have thigh rescue friction sticks. So interesting. This is one of my favorite deodorants. So I'm gonna grab cucumber mint or sea salt cedar, coconut vanilla. I think we're gonna go with a cucumber mint. I have to show you guys another one of my favorites. Oh, I love these too. These are amazing. See, this is the stuff I'm out of. We're gonna get this one. So that one's for fine. We're gonna get this guy. Okay, Target has the most random stuff if you actually look. Look at these body wash sheets. Kind of pricey. I, I just, I feel like I have to. Also, I need a new loofah, so I'm gonna grab two of these. They're only $1.99. I think you can get these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but you know. Wait, why is our cart so cute right now? Look at the colors. <gasps> Obsessed. Okay, and I kinda wanna get a fresh body wash. What is this scrub? Coconut, mango, watermelon. What is this? Lemon sugar? I think I want to get this watermelon scrub. I love a good scrub. Oh, I did not know Olay came out with the KP bump scrub. Interesting. This, this looks so nice. Should I try this? I've never heard of this brand. We're trying new things today. Interesting. I also have this moisturizing. I only do aluminum free deodorant. But I wanna, I've tried this secret one before and it's really good with aluminum free. So I wanna get, this one's coconut. I wanna get another one. And then I just wanna say, I wish they made these sprays. I love these sprays, but they don't make them aluminum free. <gasps> They do, oh my god. Okay, I'm getting the spray instead. Yes! This is my favorite brand for the cooch. This is my favorite wash. And then these are my favorite wipes. And then it looks like they have a bath bomb, which I've never tried, so I'm gonna grab one. What is this panty spray? I don't know if I need panty spray. What, it, oh, wipes? But this is wipes, this is just same thing, I think. Okay, naturally I had to stop by the makeup section. I think I already have this in PR, but I'm gonna pick it up just in case I don't, because it's my favorite color in it. I finally found the large Splendor from Sonia Cashew, and I'm getting it. They only had one left, and I've been looking for this forever. Okay, I love the Hydro Boost line, and I saw that they have a body cream gel, and I wanna try it so bad. So I'm gonna grab this one. This one's for sensitive skin, so you're coming home with me. Okay, there's a reason why these are empty, because the pimple patches by Hero are the best thing ever. I already have the nose patches. I wanted more of these, but I get it. Everybody loves these. They're so good. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna get all three of these, but I know I want this brunette dry shampoo. Skin texture spray or the air mousse? Which one do I want? I just want to try a different brand, you know what I mean? I don't want to buy all the same brand. Wait, Target has the cutest sandals for summer. These are so cute. 
I can't decide if I want them in the tan. So cute. Or do I want the black? Look, they also have them in neutral too. And they also have like these little sandals. So cute to wear out. I also think like this is so cute and simple. Okay, and I'm obsessed with this little platform sandal. Why are they so cute? Also guys, look at all these. Are you kidding me? That is such a cute shoe. They also have them in ivory. Just got done at Target. Don't know why my camera zoomed in so far. All face. Just got done. I got my baggies right here and I'm about to head home, glam, and then show you guys what I got. So let's go home. We're back from Target. I just did my everyday glam really quick. And now I'm gonna go through all the stuff that I bought. I wanna confess that I spent like over $400. So I didn't expect it to be that much, but you know, here we are. Let's dive in. I wanted a re-up on some stuff. First thing I got are these razors. I really like them. They are the Comfort Glide by Venus. Like I said, I do my at-home laser removal, hair removal, but sometimes you gotta get the stragglers and those razors are great for that. Also for shaving my arms. I got the face whack kit, for, whack, whack, face wax kit from Flamingo. I really wanted to give these a go. I recommend it for delicate, not recommend it for delicate skin. So that's good to know, but I want to try them out. I haven't used these in years and years and years, and I wanted to see if it would the stash. Next, I bought some minis because I have a couple trips this summer and I needed to re-up on my minis, but I wanted to get stuff that's like actually good because my minis right now are so good. So I got the Hydro Boost. This is one of my favorite lines from Neutrogena and this is the cleansing gel. So a little face wash to travel with. I really wanted the OGX minis in the hair, but they didn't have the shampoo, so I just got the Herbal Essence. I haven't used Herbal Essence in forever, but I remember when I was young, this stuff was the shit. Oh my God, it's still, the smell brings back memories. Do you guys remember this? Rose Herbal Essence. Oh, smells so good. So I went ahead and picked up these. I mean, you know. How cute is this? They have the travel size in the Hydro Boost uh, moisturizer, which I was like, perfect for travel. Very excited to find that. I bought some of these tubes. I don't know where mine went, but sometimes I have different things I want to bring and I can't bring the full bottle. I just bring the carry-on. So I just picked up two of these. This is very Cosmo Wanda of me, but uh, I had to have it. Randomly, I found these sunglasses and I want to try them on for you guys because I actually think they're going to be cute for me. They're $15 to buy the brand Universal Thread. The tag, let's see. Cute. I feel like these are cute with my hair down. So we're gonna give these a go and hopefully I end up liking them in the long run. The issue is I buy sunglasses and I'm like, okay, they're cute for like five seconds and then I'll put them on and I'm like, and I'll look weird in them and I'll be like, wait, I think I hate these. Hopefully these don't do that to me. I also have a crooked nose and a crooked ear. So they all sit crooked. It's just a dilemma for me. I think that's the thing I envy the most, truly like, when I see girls wearing the cutest like dad sunglasses and big sunglasses, like I think that's the thing I envy truly the most. Next up, I picked up some mouthwash. Um, I've been using the kind from, I can't remember, it's in the green containers from Amazon, but I wanted to give this a go. Oh, another mini. I picked up one of my favorite sponges from e.l.f. These sponges are super, super soft. Then I bought the EOS Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Shave Cream. For Breeze, this is my favorite stuff to spray my couch with. It leaves the house smelling so fresh, like you just put everything, all your furniture in the washer. It's amazing, so. I grabbed this, they're sold out of this a lot, like the Gain one a lot, so I was happy to see it, so I grabbed one. Then I picked up my favorite deodorant, Native. We go through deodorant pretty fast in this house. But I will say, I do the paraben-free, aluminum-free deodorant only. Whenever you start, you switch over from a aluminum do deodorant to aluminum-free deodorant, you have to train your pits. So whenever you start, your pits are gonna be excessively sweaty, maybe even a little more smelly than normal, and you're gonna be like, wow, I hate this, I'm never gonna use this again but if you give it time your body will get used to it and it, so i sweat so much less in my underarm but whenever i started it felt like wet just like sloshing in my underarm but i got past that and now i go so many days where i don't even wear deodorant anymore because my body which is so healthy for me 
but it's because my body has gotten used to not me putting aluminum under there to block my sweat duct. My body's like regulated itself, I think. So if I go out, I'll put on deodorant, but if I'm around the house, I don't sweat that much anymore. So my body like, I feel like normalized itself back out from me putting that on my underarm, aluminum on my underarm. Another mini. And then this is the best cooch wash. I mentioned this so many times, but if you didn't see those videos and you're seeing this now, that's why I'm mentioning it again to you guys. You just do three pumps in your hand, plant-based for sensitive skin. It is the perfect feminine care wash. And it's made by a woman. So yeah, you're supposed to shake it, pump three times with your hand, wash down there. It's the best. And they have a lot of other stuff too, which I did pick up. I've never tried their balancing fragrance-free bath bombs, but it's made with vinegar, honey, and cocoa butter, so it's natural. So like all those bath bombs and bath products you put in your tubs can cause UTIs and um, throw off your pH balance. But, like stuff like this is safe, so I wanted to try that. And then their wipes are really good too. And what's cool is you can use these for your body and face. They're plant-based, you can flush them. They just melt away. And yeah, it's like a really organic way of using a wipe. I love the honey pot. It's one my favorite lines. I picked up some sponges for Ty. Okay, this sponge I've been wanting to try so badly. It's latex free and this is the huge face sponge, but it's supposed to be the body sponge blender. So it allows you to apply tanner, any product like glow product, moisturizers, tanners that you want to apply to your body. I have seen this on TikTok and I've wanted it and it was the last one. So I was so happy to snag it. Next, I bought this wash. I haven't tried this brand yet, but I'm so excited too. It is a vitamin C brightening wash and it says it's also also an exfoliator for radiant looking skin. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. I also like the packaging. Packaging is selling me on stuff and this packaging is like so sleek and pretty. I was like, let me get into this. I feel like this was calling me, this was my vibe, but I also like that it was fine. <laughs> I needed a fresh body wash. We got it. Gotta get the loofahs. Okay, these are the best face razors. You can also get them on Amazon. They cost a little more than like the dollar ones, but the reason I like these so much is because one, you get two. Two, they last like so much longer than the dollar ones. I feel like the dollar ones get like dull really quick and then they start to leave your skin irritated and feel really scratchy on your skin. Whereas these are a bit nicer, like they have a nicer blade on them. So they last way longer. So you kind of get your money's worth out of them more so and they don't leave my skin skin nearly as irritated. The other one is like shaving your face with a dull razor, which is never good. So these stay sharp for a long time by Revlon. They're the best. Another mini, if you haven't tried this in the full size, I highly recommend it. If you have super dry skin, this is amazing. I have a full size bottle, but it's almost empty. So I just bought a mini because I wanted to just try this, the Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream, which we're about to try it right now from Neutrogena. I'm like the biggest fan of their Hydro Boost line. And when I saw they had this, I was like, so excited. I wanted to do a little dance. Okay, how do we open her? Oh, it's opened. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. So it kind of has like a blue tint Ooh, to it. And if you can tell, it feels like a gel. Like not creamy, like more like a clear gel. Ooh, this feels so good on my skin. I'm just gonna put it on my arms and elbows right here. Oh, it smells divine, guys. Like truly divine. Mmm, it smells really clean. It kind of smells just like the moisturizer if you've ever used it, the one for your face. But it says it locks in hydration and it continuously releases hydration. So, feels really amazing. I'm definitely putting this in my bathroom. Ow, I hit myself in the head with it. Just like a hair bit sticky, but I feel like it's just the gel absorbing into my skin. Okay, I've never tried this product, but I want to so bad. This is the Dr. Till's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil. Oh, I didn't know. Wait, am I supposed to put this in my bathtub? I thought this was, <gasps> I didn't know this was for the bathtub. I thought this was for after the bathtub. For lightweight moisture in bath or after bath. <laughs> You can use it after bath. So I'll probably do that, but it says you can add it to your bath and your body after bath. It looks interesting to me. I've never tried a product like this. So I was like, let me just go for it. I trust the brand Dr. Teal's. I have a couple, I think I have their bath salts. So I was like, let me get into this. Oh, and we can't forget this guy. I picked up the Maybelline New York. This is in the color Cheeky, and I just thought it was the prettiest color that they had, so. Okay, next I bought some shoes. They actually had the cutest stuff in like fashion era, like the clothing and shoes. Like they have upped their game so much. So I thought these sandals were so cute. Are you ready to see the ones I picked out? 
Okay, I ended up going with the colorful ones with the nude bottoms because I feel like I would wear these the most, but they feel really nice. They have a nice rubber sole on the bottom, and then this part is kind of soft. It's a little bit hard, but anyways, I love the color. I can't wait to wear these this summer. I can't remember how much they were exactly. Oh, 30 bucks. Not too bad. What do you guys think? You guys, if you need new sandals, Target's got so much cute stuff. Next bag. I got this set. How cute. I was shocked. These shorts were 15 and then the little top here was $12. So they have my size and I bought them. So I think they're so cute. So cute for summer. And then I got these shorts, which are like a dupe for the brand Essentials. They are 24. And the essential shorts that look like this, or they have the brand Talentless, which is Scott Disick's brand. They make shorts that look like this. And this is like literally a dupe. They run $70, $80. They had multiple colors, but this is the color that looks like the dupe for the expensive shorts. So obviously this is the one I went with. And and I will definitely be wearing these. And then I needed just a plain black basic tube top. So this one was $5. So I just grabbed it. Okay, and then this sun hat. I have a visor, but it's a little tight on me. And then this one has the sweatband. It's like a towel in it. And this was 15 bucks. And my thing that annoys me about mine is that it makes my forehead itch really bad because of it's like straw material or whatever. I'm just trying something here. I feel like this is the vibe. I'm gonna put my hair in a bun and then just let this roll because honey. But I couldn't, I've never seen one with like the towel band in it and that's what I was excited for because every time I wear mine, I'm clawing my forehead. More stuff, I bought two of these because they are always sold out. So I was like, I'm not playing myself. Then, okay, I wanna try this right now. This is the aluminum free dry spray coconut hemp seed secret deodorant. It smells really good. Okay, we'll see what happens there, but. <laughs> Gotta work it in. I love spray deodorants, but I quit using them because I couldn't find a spray deodorant that was aluminum free and I saw they had this and I got excited. I love these for after we eat dinner. We keep these in the kitchen. A little bit of toothpaste. And I got the Flawless Brightening Concealer from e.l.f. I just wanted to try this. I didn't buy a lot of makeup stuff. I went there mostly for girly things. Girly things like hygiene. Hygiene stuff. Oh, there it goes. Wow, I remember Mac used to sell these like strobe light pins and they were just like this. This is what it looks like and it just adds a little bit of brightening to the under eye. It's not like an actual concealer, so I might try this out and incorporate it in my makeup routine. More travel stuff. I just ran out of my travel box of these. Then I wanted to try, I went deodorant crazy, but I always use it, so that's good. I got the aluminum free stick. I've tried the stick in aluminum free from Secret before and I did like it. So so I bought that in Native because they're my favorite. I bought this raw sugar scrub moisture loving exfoliation. I'm all about a good exfoliation. It's what keeps the skin looking polished. Oh, that smells so good. This one's watermelony, and it kind of smells like candy, but I just want to eat that. Delish. Okay, we're almost done. Hang with me. And then I got the Kristen S. I ended up just getting the Burnett dry shampoo as well as the air dry mousse because whenever my hair is wet which this hair just air dried this is just my natural texture i didn't put anything or any heat on my hair but it's even better if i put a little sea salt in it while it's wet i'll get even more texture so i wanted to give the sea salt mousse a try and put it in my hair while it's wet it says that it is texture building not sticky saves time and has a light hold and wave encouraging so i was like that sounds like what i'm looking for so i picked it up and that's everything that i got this was a huge huge squirrely girly target haul hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching me spend my money at target i'll see you in my next video be sure and smash that subscribe button and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it i love you guys i'll see you in the next video bye guys